So hi you guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? Did you miss me? Because I missed you anyway, you guys. So I realized I didn't even tell you guys my name. Anyway, so my name is Michelle. My name is Michelle Kambua. And today I'm back again with a new video to show you guys how I prepare my hair. This is take two. I already did the process. I filmed it, but I didn't like the lighting. So I decided to try another place and see which one I like best. So yeah, I'm going to take you through the, the process on how I prepare my hair. Remember, I told you guys that I'm making it like a playlist so you can follow along. We started with the journey and then what I use and then my prepare. I filmed how I make this mixture and so we'll get right into it right now. So hey you guys, at this point I'm looking for my plant in the garden and there it is, there is my aloe vera plant and I only took out two leaves, when you're taking out the leaves please take out the bottom leaves, don't take out the little ones that are still growing because that way you ruin your plant. So now we have our two leaves, um, I wash them and now I'm taking out the ends just because they're difficult to manage or handle but there's nothing wrong with them. You can use them as well and now what I'm doing is trying to take out the thorny part of the plant just so that it doesn't hurt me and to make our plant more manageable. So now I'm cutting our aloe vera leaf into smaller pieces just so that it's easier for me to manage and you'll see that as I continue with the process. So now after I have cut my leaves into smaller pieces, I take out the top part or the green part. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that today we'll be using the succulent part of the plant. So what I'm doing next here you guys is I'm simply scraping out the succulent part of this plant and putting it into my blender. You don't have to use a knife like me, you can use a spoon um, or anything that you feel is easier for you to use. So I was trying to show you guys the part of the plant that we need today, I'm so sorry it was not in focus but here yeah, right there is the part that we need and I continued with the process until I had all my aloe vera goodness in my blender. So I proceeded to scrape out the other pieces of aloe vera plant that I had and removed the succulent part, I peeled off the green part and continued with the process as in the beginning. So 
so now you guys i proceeded to blend my aloe vera and then here i'm trying to sieve it out just so that the unblended parts are kept away and then i add my liquid gold this is extra dark jamaican black castor oil if you've watched my previous video then you know what i'm talking about and then i added some extra virgin olive oil and then my coconut oil my coconut oil has some roaches it's not intentional i just found them there and i added exactly 10 drops of my tea tree essential oil and then i mix so i mixed everything up and then i used an old bottle that i picked up around the house i washed it thoroughly and dried it and i put my mixture there and then next i took a bowl and put hot water and then i put my mixture in there i usually do this when i want to do a hot oil treatment so i keep shaking until i make sure that my mixture is hot so now let's get to how i apply this mixture i have water this is water like tap water there's nothing fancy to it sometimes i'll add uh, apple cider vinegar that's because apple cider vinegar is also beneficial to your hair your hair loves this your hair loves water your hair loves water please give it water so this is water and then i have my mixture here so as i already told you guys i filmed and i didn't like the lighting so this is take two lucky for me i have some left here with me and this is what i'm going I to do this use. before my wash day depends on my schedule it depends on where i have to go if i don't have to go anywhere if i don't have to go to school if i don't have to go out then i leave it overnight because then i'm okay so i'll do a hot oil treatment when i know i'm not going anywhere or i don't need to sell my hair the following day or i'm not going to the salon i'll do a hot oil treatment and when i do a hot oil treatment i will wear a shower cap after everything so today i'm not doing a hot oil treatment because i have somewhere to go tomorrow morning meaning i need my hair clean washed and dry for tomorrow so this is how i do it when i am working with so many things you can put in your spray bottle like your spray water bottle so many things you can put you can add apple cider vinegar you can add an essential oil you can add a conditioner you can add a detangler like there's so much and the reason why is because natural hair loves water so before everything else you have to make sure that your hair is getting water right so let's get to it this is what i do i'm just going to make it down i'm going to make it down my thingy spray bottle is broken but it works You guys, I'm not even lying to you guys. This is one year of growth. So my thing is broken. So this is what I will do. I take water directly from the tap and just put it on my hair. That's because my spray bottle isn't working, but as you can see, it's just water from the tap. Nothing much. So when my hair is damp enough, now I take my mixture. This one. And then what I do... I just massage it to my hair. I literally just massage this mixture to my hair. These white things you're seeing, this is the aloe vera. Because when you blend it out, unless you add like water, or apple cider again it won't completely blend out so that is what it looks like and my hair is so happy right now you guys so all i'm doing is just trying to massage 
in trying to make sure every little nutrient in this mixture is in my hair. This is the good stuff, you guys. the reason I use this mixture you ask I started I okay listen so the reason why I started making this aloe mixture is because I had such a sensitive scalp and an itchy scalp I don't know why but my scalp just started acting up so I'm like okay what do I do and then I got advice from my aunt to try aloe vera and other YouTube other YouTubers but other YouTubers normally say that aloe vera helps grow your hair which I can't say is false or true because my intention with this mixture was not to grow my hair so I wasn't really testing out length here I was just trying to make my scalp healthier and better so I, try, I started using this oh, that feels good. I started using this because I had a damaged scalp and I needed it to heal and I needed all those nutrients to go in my hair and heal and do all that. So I started using this last year. I started making this myself last year. I bought aloe vera plants, planted them in the garden and yeah, this is what I do. I'm so happy with my hair you guys this is one year oh one year oh wow beautiful stuff so I'm just trying to massage this into my hair not forgetting my edges my front and back edges because those are delicate too and all that and then you just massage it in Massage. So listen, I didn't plate these matutas or you don't have to plate them. The reason I have them is because I just took out my locks and for you to have those locks, I need to plate this so you don't have to unravel them. Normally, when I have just my open hair, I'll use the water or apple cider vinegar, detangle my hair and plate matutas or twists, depending on what I feel like or the time that I have. So you don't have to plate at these small matutas. I just didn't see the point of my dogs. I just didn't see the point of unraveling them because it helps like saves my time right so i'm going to leave in i'm going to leave this in for like two hours and i told you guys it depends on the time you have you could leave it overnight that is all for today's video thank you for watching thank you for liking commenting subscribing because i know you're about to do that please do that for me thank you so that is all for today's video you guys thank you for watching please remember to subscribe please please please, please, please. before you go please please subscribe it's free you you don't get charged it's just for you just click a button and that's it you subscribe and like and comment and share thank you so much have a good day good afternoon good night bye you guys lots of love